Welcome back to Teach Club class and now we are looking at the cycles in matter and water. So let's try to understand what matter is actually is. So matter is just anything that has mass and volume. Anything that has mass and volume. Now interestingly you might be wondering then, is there anything that don't have mass and volume? Yes, we do have something that have no mass and no volume which you consider as non-metal. So some of the examples here we have like light, heat, sound, and electricity. Okay, something that we can feel, but they don't have mass and volume. So let's try to come back to metal. So what, what do actually mass mean? Mass basically means the amount of metal in an object. Okay, and volume means what? The amount of space occupied by an object. Okay, so let's try to see whether how can we measure mass. Now, mass we can be measuring in these two units, grams and kilograms. Now, although they are not the only two, but mainly we'll be using these two, okay, in, in our countries, okay? Measure in, uh, it can be measured by two, uh, two examples only. Like, of course, there are more, but these two are examples like electronic weighing skill and spring balance, okay? So these are basically all for mass. And for volume, as you know, again, it is the amount of space occupied by an object. It can be measured by liters, milliliters, cubic meter with E, and cubic centimeters. So liter, ml, m cube, to m cube, and cm cube. Okay. And these are the things we can measure by something called the measuring cup, or maybe measuring cylinder also can, and serine. Okay. So basically, these are the things we can measure volume. And now let's come to something that is really, really important. Now, matter can be grouped into three different uh, groupings. So the first one is solid, second one is liquid, the third one is gas. Now, the first thing, let's try to understand solid. Solid has a definite shape, means that it has an exact shape. Okay. Now, second, it has a definite volume. We can count the volume. Okay, we can count. Okay. And solid cannot be compressed. Okay, so that's basically about solid. Liquid. Liquid has indefinite shape. It means that it will change the shape based on the container or maybe. Okay, so for example, you have a water bottle, right? You have water inside. But if you do like this, if you do like this, it will just change its shapes to fit in the container shapes. Okay, that's why no definite shapes. Okay. But however, it has a definite volume. Okay? And the same thing like the solid, it cannot be compressed. And last we have gas. And this gas uh we have indefinite shapes, means that it don't have an exact shapes. Example, when you blow the balloon, it, it depends on the balloon size, right? Uh, it depends on the shapes of the balloon. If you have a love shapes, then you become love shapes. Okay, it depends. Now, it also has indefinite volume, which is something that's interesting. Again, it has indefinite volume. And interestingly, it can be compressed. Now, this is a special thing about gas. Okay. And because of that, there are many questions will be asking you more about gas. Okay. So, I mean that you might be still confusing. Uh -huh, what does that mean? Again, when we deal with the questions and you slowly understand what that the characteristics of this okay so that's all let me just say thank you see you bye bye